quite a nice thing, you know, to know that your name's on the on the board at Lords, and it's it's, it's a nice memory. The night before the test match, I can remember that I couldn't sleep. I just was pacing up and down. I just couldn't sleep. So at three in the morning, this is true, at three in the morning, I sent down, uh, I rang reception, and I got them to send up three pints of Guinness. So I got three pints of Guinness, necked them, went to sleep, woke up, right as rain, went to the ground, and we batted first, and it was a, we had, there was a lot of rain, drizzle and mist and fog on it. it was, and so we were on and off all day which was brilliant in the fact that I kept getting a rest, but it was dreadful in the fact that so did Aldin, Marshall and Garner. They kept having a rest. So every time we came back on, they were as fresh as daisies. And I think at the end of the day, I was 70 not out, something like that. I did the same thing again. <laughs> three o'clock in the morning, I sent down for three pints again. So I did it two nights running. And then the following day, I, I, can, re I can only remember I can't remember much about it, but I remember that I got into the 90s. Um, I hooked Malcolm Marshall twice, which was ridiculous because I never hooked anywhere. And then Roger Harper came on, and I thought, this is it, <laughs> he's got to go. <laughs> so I slogged him, and I got to 98, well, whatever it was. I hit him over, I hit him against the spin over long goal, one bounce forward, next ball, cut it. And that's how I got to 100, and then I got out. <laughs> to Dean Baptiste. Yeah, it was, it was phenomenal, really. Just, just, just to play against them. I mean, it, because they were just a different level. Um, years later, I was talking to a journalist whilst we were watching a game at Lords again, England against West Indies, and West Indies weren't very good. And he said, "I bet you wish you'd played against this lot." And I hadn't said anything. And then he turned around and he looked at me and he said, "No, I bet you're happy to have played against the best team ever." I said, "Yeah." <laughs>